Hi guys, welcome back to the Housewife Historian. It is time to talk Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and today we are talking Miss Erica Jane and this new lawsuit that has hit the court dockets from Miss Christina Fulton who, yes, is in fact Nicolas Cage's ex-girlfriend. Um, she is making accusations that she was awarded almost a million dollars and has not received <laughs> anything close to that in payment from Girardi and Keese. Um, she is alleging that financial documents have been uh, released and she has discovered that the law firm in fact did receive the settlement check. They did not notify her. It was not her signature on the check and she wants her money, honey. And she's coming after Erica Jane for it because you know who's representing her? Ronald Richards. <laughs> Yes, Ronald Richards is representing Miss Christina Fulton when it comes to Erica Jane. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work when it comes to his Twitter now that he's actually in a lawsuit with the defendant. Um, but we're about to find out. Um, if, before we get started, though, guys, I'm trying to grow my channel. Please subscribe. Turn those notifications on. Hit that like button for me, okay? Um, I read all of your guys' comment. I'm always open for suggestions. I've navigated this myself thus far. So, you know, I love helpful hints or tips, okay? But we all got to be nice to each other. And I know that sometimes we are very passionate about the housewives that we love and that we've been watching for years and years. But that doesn't mean we should be disrespectful to other viewers and other people commenting. Um if they have a difference of opinion than you. So just try to remember that, guys. Um, and like I said, hit that like button, okay? Let's get into this. So Christina Fulton, who, yes, was Nicolas Cage's girlfriend for several years, is suing Erica Jane um, and Thomas Girardi, okay? According to U.S. Magazine in 2016, the defendant, who would be Christina Fulton, hired 83-year-old Tom Girardi. Now, U.S. Magazine didn't have to put that Tom Girardi was 83 years old back in 2016, but I kind of like that they did, okay? Because doesn't that seem strange to anyone else if you are a 83 year old millionaire 50 times over allegedly at 53 million dollars in cash why in god's name are you going to work 50 hours a week at your law firm why are you even making the commute from your home in pasadena to your office in downtown la every day I don't understand that. You, you, you can't tell me that Tom Girardi loved law and loved being in the courtroom and loved, you know, taking on all of this so much that he worked 40 to 50 hours a week regardless, even if he had millions and millions of dollars. Bullshit. No way. I'm telling you guys. And I may have mentioned this before. Um, I'm going to keep my opinion out of this. I always try to give you guys like the facts, the gossip, the tea, whatever you want to call it at the beginning of the video. And I'll stick my opinion in at the end or, of course, during lives, because I've noticed a lot of people appreciate the fact that, um, you know, it's it's not my opinion up here. I'm just giving you guys what I'm hearing, the gossip, the tea, the facts, whatever it may, you may have. So I try to leave my opinion out of it. But something stuck out to me, guys. Back whenever COVID hit in 2020, because let's be real, if COVID hadn't hit in 2020, how long would Tom have been able to keep this Ponzi up? Because he was robbing Peter to pay Paul, right? So when COVID hit, the courtrooms closed down. If Tom doesn't have court, Tom's not getting money. He's not getting settlement checks. He's not getting clients, okay? They um, were a law firm that worked with, like, personal injury. So typically in those types of situations, the law firm takes on um, the, the victim for free. Not really for free, but on the basis and on the contract that they will take 40% of the settlement up front and then the, you know, the actual person suing gets what's left over the other 60%. Obviously that can change. Sometimes it's 35, sometimes it's 50. I've heard as much as even 60%. Okay. It just really depends. However, for Tom and his law firm, when they're barely living, barely paying paycheck to paycheck, if they get behind, you know, and have a couple weeks where they're not getting in large settlements, whatever the case may be, 
that's when the cookie starts to crumble, okay? Because now he's got nothing coming in, so he can't even take so-and-so's money to pay the creditor, right? He can't do it because he doesn't have it coming in. I'm not sure how long California was out when it came to, um, you know, court cases and, and, and things like this. And I'm sure that, um, you know, criminal court was a little bit more important than civil court, right? So the first people back into the courtrooms were like the judges who were dealing with felony, um, you know, people with felony charges, uh, criminal charges, those sorts of things versus um, someone, you know, suing another person. So I'm going to assume that it, it was probably six weeks. I mean, the CDC closed down dentist office and, and such for six weeks. So I'm going to say probably six weeks. So if he didn't work for, sorry guys, I'm just having one of those damn days. So if he didn't work for six weeks, the first six weeks he might have been okay because he could have still been getting payments from other companies or had just gotten larger settlements, whatever the case may be. But after that six weeks is when the cookie would really start to crumble because any money he's coming in, He's literally going to be living off of it. And he's probably now he's behind on everything. And that's when we started to see the cracks. Um, what I found to be so it just always, always stuck with me was that re reunion, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion. Um, it was the one right after COVID hit and they did their um, reunions from home. And Erica had the real straight, sleek blonde hair that hit about here. Um, and I can't remember what dress she was wearing, but she was styled a lot like her newest, um, uh, her newest interview look. It was a lot like that. But like when they opened up, Andy said, Hey Erica, how are you? She's like, I'm good, Andy. How are you? And he, and she's like, he's like, how's Tom doing? Where's Tom at? And she's like, well, he's at work, Andy. And Andy was like, Oh, okay. You know? And she's like, she said, when your name's on the door, basically you got to go to work every day. Like, made it sound like, like, he's got to be there. His name, he puts his name on this law firm, so it can't run without him. He's got to be there every day, Andy. He has to be. But we all knew that wasn't the case. And so now looking back, I wonder if she said that kind of shitty to Andy because she probably knew that Andy Cohen had heard the rumors and the speculations that Tom and Erica were actually broke. So that's probably why she made that shitty side comment because you have to think about it um I don't know I just I just get that feeling like she did not like that he asked where Tom was or why Tom was working um and like I said she just real quick was like well when your name's on the door Andy duh, 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 duh. like mm, mm, mm. there ain't nobody in the world like Tom Girardi and he has to be there every single day his clients expect it. They demand it. He has to be there. We have to drive him there because his dementia is so bad. He doesn't even know where he's at. And we have to pick him up. But damn it, he has to be there because that law firm can't run without him. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, back to the lawsuit. So in 2016, she hired Christina Fulton, Nicholas Cage's ex-girlfriend, hired um, an 83-year-old Tom Girardi. Um, she was awarded almost a million dollars. It was like 924k to be exact. Um, she discovered the settlement funds had been dissipated and representation lied to her, used the money as their own assets to support their lavish lifestyle. Okay. This was the actual, in the actual court filings of Christina. Um, and she is seeking 750 K, um, now, I got another article that this one was out of the UK and it claimed that she was suing for 700k. Um and it also listed some interesting um things that we didn't read in the US article. It mentioned the Lion um airline victims. Um and how they were also cheated um out of their payment and their settlements um, about the nine people that lost their lives and that Tom represented it, represented their loved ones and never paid them. Uh, we spoke about, you know, they're from all around the world where a couple of thousand dollars could literally be life changing to these people. I'm just saying. Um, now, Christina, this is now this is where it gets really interesting. Christina is alleging that the financial the financial docs disclose, disclosed to her that a check was allegedly deposited into the Girardi Kiesk account. 
bank account without her consent. It was a complete fake. She never endorsed the check and she did not agree to deposit it. This is crazy. The escrow check was a complete forgery and a complete lie. The check was never held in the trust, but actually spent. So what that means is um, if you watch any of the documentaries, then you know that there is like a trust account that is the account that the settlement check typically goes into um, because all everything is paid out of that then. Like say they owe like testimony witnesses, they owed for whatever this is, and then they owe the attorney 40%. Like the attorney takes the check, disperses payments to whomever they may have owed money to or accumulated um, on a balance with during the trial, takes their share, and then sends the rest over to the client. Now the trust account isn't, each client doesn't have their own trust account. So there's multiple clients money going into the trust account. So you have to be keep, keeping very good records of whose money is whose, because if not, you just have a balance of multiple victims. You don't really know whose is whose, what's coming out of what. Tom's you know, paying people out of personal checks, out of personal money, paying himself back. It, it's just, a, it makes it a mess. And that's why I think the trustees have had such a hard time trying to navigate really what Tom and Erica spent, what was the victims, um, and everything like that. So, and, and this is a typical, um, this is typical for all attorneys that, you know, work on cases where they're going to be a settlement. It's called a trust account. And because we're working with, you know, attorneys who are supposed to be ethical and who are, you know, it, are supposed to be for their client, you know, the government, the state of California basically says, well, we should be able to trust the attorneys, right? We should be able to trust that they get a trust account, that they pay everything out of, and that they pay their clients, and, and they take care of what they got to take care of. And now we have a situation where nobody was monitoring the trust account. The state wasn't monitoring it, and it went on for years and years, and now all these people are owed a lot of money, and the state of California is basically saying... We ain't going to help you. Go get your money. What are we supposed to do? We can't incriminate ourselves. We can't talk about all the different things we could have done different. We can't talk about the fact that Tom Girardi still had a license to practice law two months after these lawsuits came out. In fact, the only thing that deactivated his um, ability to practice law in the state of California was he didn't pay the fee to renew it. Maybe since then, the state of California has revoked it, which I think they did like 18 months ago. Regardless, it wasn't immediate. They didn't even suspend it, okay? So that's insane, guys. The own California state bar didn't even like suspend it for like investigation. They just left it active. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay, anyways, um, I got to break this into two parts, so... Make sure you hit that like button and touch my part too.